come to shore and raid our booty. The Vikings are on the loose and so <laughs> is Denmark's Rasmussen. Should we talk about it? Let's do this! Rasmussen has won Dalt Smotherty Grand Prix in Denmark. He will sing Higher Ground at Eurovision 2018. We've got to tell you what we think, starting with young Ed. Well, I think this was absolutely the best entry one in Mel Dance Melody Grand Prix. Um, I think it is so epic, it's so uplifting. I think it's maybe the first Viking song we've ever had in Eurovision, so it will stand out. I think. Nowadays you don't get as many themed songs in Eurovision. You remember like we had the Pirates with Latvia yeah. back in the olden days, stuff like that. Um, and I think this could have a really high budget performance and really stand out. The one thing that doesn't come across in the song is the message. And apparently it's about this Viking who was different to all the other Vikings and said, no, we don't need to fight, let's deal with things through love. And that is a great message to have, but I kind of understand why that doesn't come across because if they were to kind of, you know, imagine there are all these fierce Vikings and then they start hugging each other, kissing <laughs> each other, it yeah. kind of would ruin the feel and the Vikingness of the song. So that's a, a, difficult, a difficult choice for, um, for DR to choose how they're going to stage it, but I think this will be really epic on stage and a really nice change from all the kind of modern, contemporary, take themselves really seriously songs. You see, I like the idea of Vikings laying down their armour. Oh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Anya Nissen was not a Viking. Uh, no, I just like that whole idea. <clears throat> um, I feel like it's very European. It kind of harks back to olden times. I like the swell in the song. It builds and builds and then it kind of explodes. I think this is a really good effort. I think staging will be kind of a bit meh, just because you know, what are you going to do? It's always going to look like a film soundtrack. Always going to look mm. like a film soundtrack. I, I'm, first of all, I'm slightly horrified that you said the olden days when talking about the wolves of the sea, considering that was 2008. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> um, look, I, 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 it wasn't my favourite going into Dance Melody Grand Prix. That is kind of irrelevant now. I'm just judging it based on Eurovision. But I have to look at the staging that they had, and I agree, I don't quite see the message behind the staging. At the moment, it's very dark. It kind of looks stereotypically Viking, like this could be a BBC4, like Danish broadcast TV show, that could be what they're going for. But I don't get the, the pacifist Viking thing, and that is kind of an issue, if that's what they're trying to sell. Um, I still think that the song's climax comes sort of two minutes in, and then we sort of have the, like the last minute, like where the drums kick in towards the end. I just, it, it just feels very weirdly constructed and sold at the moment. He sounds good, and I will say that he does, he does, he's a very good singer, live performer, and he does sell it a little bit just it, through his look. But I kind of feel like it's. It, it's either going to go for like a musical theatre kind of vibe, but it doesn't reach that, or it's going for movie soundtrack, and it doesn't hit that either. It's trying to be a bit too one or the other. They need to find something a bit more cohesive in the staging, I think, and then I might like it more. But at the moment, I just kind of feel like it's trying too many things and it's not working for me. The pacifist message does not come through because there are demonic cavemen <laughs> in the background going, ooh, ooh. It's terrifying. Small children will have nightmares. I did not like this song when it won. I thought it was the bottom of the barrel. Very Pirates of the Caribbean at the theme park. However, over time, I have come to see the musical theater quality of this. This could be the opening act, the opening number to draw people in. It actually reminds me of the start of Pocahontas, the animated film, with yeah. people on the ship. 
He does look very Game of Thrones, which will appeal to many people. Notice I'm talking about visuals. I think the visuals are great. They have a concept, an idea. The stage in Lisbon is modeled on a ship. Yeah. So this is a Viking performance. It's going to be very organic to the ship. But let's just say change the P to a T and you get my feelings about this. I do not like it. It's great for musical theater, the West End, but this is Eurovision, honey. This is a pop song contest, a radio song no, contest. No, it's a song contest. It's a song contest what? that tends to favor radio hits. We'll leave Salvador to the side because he brought something, <laughs> he brought something he with something very special. This is not special. I'm sorry. I know it's a fan favorite and many people like it. Yeah. I think because it's in the second semi-final, it does have a shot to go to the final. The second mm -hmm. semi-final is wide open and I think their staging will be among the best because they already have excellent staging. Mm -hmm. It's just the song does nothing for me. I know people get angry when people say this is right for Eurovision, this is wrong for Eurovision, but honey, this is just wrong for Eurovision. I am angry. <laughs> <laughs> I think, so I think you do have to recognise it does have quite a good, so a strong fan base, it seems oh, like. Yeah. And there are people who really do love this, so... And so did Cardi Wolf, who underwhelmed in the yeah. final and came dead last. Yeah. And you know, how many fan favourites do we know? Look at Estonia last year. Being a fan favourite does not guarantee success. Let's just call a spade a spade. I'm sorry, I liked Estonia too. In any event, <laughs> Why don't we go around and give a score out of 10 along with the justification and whether we think it'll be in the final and where it will place, starting with Ed. Right. Epicness, doing something different, easy peasy, 9 out of 10. Oh. Oh. It's good! Oh. And I think this will be an easy qualifier. I think it will qualify in the top five. Well, the only issue is there are lots of countries in semi-final two with strong kind of, uh, what's the word? Diaspora... There we go. Mm. I never know how to pronounce yeah. it. <laughs> um, but song-wise, absolutely should think it, think it will qualify easily. Wow, Mr. Edward Keith, you're a tough act to follow. I'm giving this a six. And I'm giving it a six because I think it's a really decent song. It's got a fabulous chorus. The visuals will tie in very well with All Aboard. And I think it will do well. It's a 4.5 for me, um, just because I just don't get the message and I just, I, I'm not connected with the song. There's nothing that has sold me on it yet, apart from his vocals, which are good, but that's as far as I can really get with it. I just don't connect with it. Stellar vocals, great look, gorgeous staging, I'm giving it a 3. Boom. <laughs> you can boo me like a viking. Oh, you what? Is it really a <laughs> shade? <laughs> My waters are closed. Look, I just, I don't connect with this song. I think it doesn't, it actually gets a little boring. The oh, 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 it almost sounds constipated at times. And also, I just think the lyrics are a little cheesy. There's inspiration and motivation and then there's just lame. In any case, I do think it's going to go to the final though, because that second semi is wide yeah. open. Now look, we are just four of the wee bloggers all around the world who have also rated the song, and we have a global average, and it's going to appear on your screen right now. 6.17. Wee wee bloggers, I feel you. <laughs> it's very middling. Um, I, I'll tell you it's this. It's closest <laughs> to my score of six. Around 20 songs achieved a seven or higher, so that will give you an indication of how this goes. <laughs> In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you reaching for higher ground? Do you think Rasmussen from Denmark will land there? Let us know here on Ruby Blogs. Don't get to give, give us no. What's You're supposed to subscribe down below. That's your. I thought I'd like down below. Like down below. Subscribe. Comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.